I just spent a stupid amount of money at Kmart. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Paisley. For those that don't know me, please excuse the mess in the back. And if you hear a humming, it's that little heater right behind me because I'm freaking freezing. For those of you who do not know me, I am an American living in New Zealand. Since we're in the Southern Hemisphere, it is winter. <laughs> And it's cold. Well, it's like fall heading into winter. So I'm just freezing my little caboose off. That's why we have this hard ass little heater in the background that is really helping me stay, you know, defrosted because my toes are literally gonna fall off pretty soon. And I know I'm being dramatic, but coming from Southern California, this shit is cold. I don't know what it is in Celsius. You know what, let's look it up. I love that my weather app, even though my phone's connected, it's like a New Zealand SIM card and everything. I love that my weather app is still in Fahrenheit and not Celsius because I still don't have Celsius. Yeah, for all of my American peeps, it's 52 degrees. That's my goal. <laughs> cold for California that's really cold so anyways I'm dying as you saw this morning well hey welcome to a daily vlog little day of my life so it is Friday happy Friday wow I feel like I'm just starting this like really jumbled up <laughs> but we're just gonna roll with it move that curtain because that's ugly it is Friday it is my day off from Lululemon so for those of you who do not know or haven't watched my last video I got hired at Lululemon a few weeks ago it's been so awesome. I'm really enjoying it. Love my team. I've been really falling victim to my shopping addiction. I've been really good with shopping up until I started working there and I'm just surrounded by all these amazing workout clothes and like I teach yoga. So obviously I'm constantly in yoga attire. So it's like having that right there as a work environment is um, tempting and I've been falling into those temptations. I'm gonna be filming a little haul today. Well, not a little haul, it's a pretty fucking big haul. <laughs> but <laughs> those things that I've been really enjoying from working there, first things first, you'll see it later. This jumper, which I really love, or sweatshirt for my American peeps. Wow, I'm like really jumbled up today. Hey, <laughs> as you saw today, got up real early, around six o'clock, made myself coffee, and went to a local Pilates class. I'm going to the Reform Fitness Studio in Takapuna, and on Fridays, they have $15 Fridays, so that's pretty amazing. So I've been taking advantage of that on Fridays. Just a really good way to start the day. I feel really accomplished, like a seven o'clock class, like already getting it done. Came home, as you saw, I made myself a smoothie, and then some hash browns. I haven't had hash browns in so long. I used to buy them from Trader Joe's back home, like the frozen ones, and they are so good. They're like bit like not as like greasy version of, you know, McDonald's hash browns where they're just like so crispy and so yummy and just like Mmm, so good. I bought them at Pack and Save and I've been enjoying them the past few mornings and it's just been so good. It's just so yum with some extra salt and garlic powder. Really dumb idea to have a smoothie in the morning because it's so fucking cold. Literally, I'm cold to my bone. I just love having a smoothie in the morning and I've just been like kind of lazying around because I've been working like a mad woman lately. Like I've been really picking up shifts like quite a bit. I almost picked up a shift today, but I told myself no, I need to spend a day of GST, getting shit together. So life admin, just got my MIQ bill finally. So for those of you that don't know, my managed isolation bill. When I came over to New Zealand, I had to isolate in their hotels for two weeks. Since I'm not a citizen, I had to pay totally fine, but I'm only just now getting my bill, which is really weird because I got here in January. So 
don't know what that's about there's just a lot of payments coming out right now for me we have my miq bill jack and i got the apartment that we really wanted so that's exciting we got it so yay so exciting to be able to like decorate a space with coming into a new place comes a lot of payments right away once we're moving from a flat that's fully furnished and we're living with other people we have to now buy a bunch of appliances we're kind of starting from scratch which is a little overwhelming but we're gonna really try to buy second hand so it kind of like eases the tension if you guys have any suggestions all of my new zealanders of like ways to get cheaper you know appliances please let me know definitely gonna be checking facebook marketplace trade me all that stuff for things that i want to get second hand like furniture wise and then i'm actually going Going to be going to Kmart today our lovely Kmart um, just for some cheap kitchenware that like I know that I'm gonna get for like a really good price and then I'll probably pop into a few thrift stores see what furniture they have available or any like plates and stuff like that mugs all that good stuff yeah just doing that sort of thing if that makes sense I don't know <laughs> That's kind of what the daily plan is. Jam-packed full day. I think that we're just having like a mellow, mellow night, just me and Jack, because we do want to save some money for the new place that we're moving into. Really excited to start filming more stuff around that. Decorating and asking for more help. So again, please follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be posting a lot of questions on which one should I get. Maybe I'll even do that today on Instagram. Yeah, that actually might be a good idea. I have a full-on list in my notes of like what exactly we need just like a list I don't even know if you can see that obviously there's gonna be a lot more than that and we're buying a new bed too so there's just a lot of expenses and I feel like this always happens like I'm I'm living in a state of abundance and I have the means to pay for all of this and I have to keep reminding myself that because when there's like the big payments all at once it's just a little overwhelming I have the means to pay for it but just like seeing it all taken out at once is like <laughs> a little intense this is stuff that needs to get done and stuff that I need for a better future. It's all gonna be worth it in the end. And again, it's just it's just a little blip in time. It's just like a month that things are gonna be a little tight because we're doing some really exciting things. So just reminding myself that and reminding myself that like I have the means to do it and I'm gonna be okay and it's not a big deal. I'm so grateful that I'm living in this state of abundance and that I'm able to pay for everything. The work that I've done before and like saving wise and everything has allowed me to be able to be comfortable in this space of moving and lots of payments <laughs> really grateful that i'm able to pay for that and i'm really grateful for jack's support as well like we're splitting everything down the middle you know what i'm saying where it's just like everything is coming all at once and it's just like whoa that's a lot when you're like not used to spending so much money i'll step off my soapbox now <laughs> that was a lot i'm gonna watch a few youtube videos some life admin like i have a whole heap of laundry that is just hiding <laughs> right behind there that it's literally been sitting there for a week that i just need to fold and put away I'm just gonna go to kmart i have a little field day awesome hey team so update Whew, i'm getting nice and toasty in this car very disappointed in myself i forgot my phone at home <laughs> so that means and i didn't realize until i just got here um, one i can't do oh my god there's someone that's right there um i can't do polls for Instagram to see like what I'm deciding between two things and like getting your guys' opinion on Instagram. So I can't do that, very disappointed in that. Two, I have to use my camera <laughs> while vlogging in public rather than just discreetly using my phone. You know what, I've been wanting to, <laughs> oh, just walked by. I've been wanting to push myself outside of my comfort zone and just say like, fuck it, vlog in public see what happens no one cares i'm not gonna see these people anyways but like what i've come to realize is new zealand is very small <laughs> i have been running into people that i've seen like maybe at the pilates studio the yoga studio then at work in america it's like you might bump into someone and you're like oh i'm never gonna see them again which you literally will never see them again where it's like here auckland especially very small i feel like i'm failing right now i'm just really nervous Yep, we're just gonna see how we go. You know, oh, there's the light. But at least we have each other. Can't promise how much content I'm actually gonna film while in there. At least, at least we're doing it. Wish me luck. Oh my God. Okay, team. I just spent a stupid amount of money 
at Kmart and I feel honestly pretty sick. Like sick to my stomach, sick, not like sick, bruh. Yeah, it turned out to be nearly four hundred dollars, or just over four hundred. So uh, I'm just stuck in traffic, and all I can think about is how much money I just spent. Everything that I bought was a necessity, though. Like I was going to buy it eventually. I just don't know why I'm doing it all in a lump sum. I think that I'm gonna not buy anything for the apartment until my next pay. Mm. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, this is really, this is a lot. This is a lot, but I'm excited to show you what I got. <laughs> it's good stuff, really cute. There's some green moments. I feel like I need to stop buying until we get into the space so I know exactly like what we need furniture wise and what's gonna fit. I just got like all kitchen stuff. So we're pretty set on kitchen. I'll talk to you when I get home, bye. <laughs> you can hear, here's sizzling. Taking a break from resting about money and making some potato leaf soup. Not really following a recipe, but I'm just cutting up a bunch of potatoes, cabbage, a leek. And we're just gonna add some spices and a lot of garlic and see what happens. <laughs> This right here is a lot. This is a lot. This is a lot. <laughs> it's giving me anxiety. So I'm putting all of my laundry away and on my bed is this sweater that my mom crocheted me. I'll show you guys really quick. The softest thing and it is so freaking cute. My mom literally made this with her own two hands. So cute. I love it. Thanks, mom. This situation is looking a lot better than it was a few moments ago. So, hey, here's some sunlight. Just finally put away my laundry. So thank you for that. You actually gave me motivation to do that because that has literally been sitting on the floor of our bed for like, I'm going to say two weeks. <laughs> Happy that that finally got done. I'm just actually going to pop you up here for the Kmart haul. You know what? We're just gonna have to have a slanted screen and we're just gonna deal with it. I hope that's okay. <laughs> I don't even know where to start on this. Oh, actually I need to stir my soup. Okay, soup's doing okay. Ready to go. So I think I'm just gonna start with some boring stuff. Actually, I just have everything behind me and I'm just gonna pull whatever happened. Today's haul was very kitchen centered. Did not really get any furniture or anything. It was mostly just shit that we need for the kitchen for cooking, all that good stuff. I got a broom because I think Jack's mom is going to give us a vacuum. But I thought in the meantime, I would just get a pan, a dustpan because like we need one anyways. Just some Tupperware. You can never have too much Tupperware. I have three that I bought as soon as I got out here in my previous Kmart haul. So I just got three more. I feel like that'll be fine for us. Move into this big bag of stuff. <laughs> got a toilet brush holder. Bought the one that's in the bathroom that we share it with our other roommate right across the way. But but I thought that I would just get a new one for our own house because it'll just be like me and Jack. If you know what I'm saying, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. So I got a new one. And then got some ice cube trays. I got a really fine um, colander, so like a little strainer. A drying mat, microfiber drying mat. We don't have a dishwasher, which is totally okay. Some tea towels, as you see, I'm going with like a gray theme. Tongs, because you need tongs. Chip clips another ice cube tray but this one's silicone jack has one that he got from his sister for his birthday or something and he really liked it so i thought that i would get him another one in that greeny color because that's we have a lot of green moments going on soon so i've got these really cute ceramic measuring spoons i've always wanted ceramic measuring spoons like you know in america where they have anthropology and they have those like really pretty ceramic measuring cups and spoons I wanted to, you know, copy that, but obviously um, Kmart's way cheaper. Obviously some silverware. The ones that came in like the 16 pack were like disgusting. So even though they were five bucks, they were just like so flimsy. So I got the like individual ones. Nothing fancy. I like these spoons. They're like soup spoons, really nice. I got a normal colander because straining. Ceramic measuring cups that match the spoons. They're so cute. I love it. Oh, I'm so happy with that. This is actually for my car. So in the mornings, my back window, since it's winter and it's getting cold and it's really wet all the time, I don't have windscreen wipers on my back 
windshield so that's a issue when I'm driving to work for the first like 10 minutes of my drive which is like halfway to work and I can't see anything out my rear view window even when I put the defroster on it just like doesn't work so I got this to squeegee my windows just so I don't have to like sit in the driveway and wait because I don't do that and then it's just unsafe to drive so I'm just being honest lemon squeezer I have lemon in my water every single morning so this is just helpful and then Jack always likes to make fresh lemon juice for his cocktail so i thought that he'd enjoy that as well cooking supplies so i really like the ones with the wooden handle they're just really pretty so got a ladle obviously we need a ladle a little spatula and a little spoon i got some nice oven mitts they're like silicone on the outside but they're really nice and cushiony on the inside I have that cute little pattern it's only gonna get one but then i decided to get two because like what if i have like a big roast in there not that i eat roast but maybe i'll cook it for jack See, this is how I think. This is how I think. And this is why I spend a lot of money. <laughs> Yay. And that's pretty much it. I think that's all. I think I showed you everything. For that bag, there's more. <laughs> I have to get a spice rack. It's like, I think it's like three tiers or something like that. Yeah, three tier shelf. Looks pretty legit. Got a simple drying rack. And that's why I got the microfiber mat to put underneath. Easy peasy. Then I got an organizer for our silverware to put in the drawer. I got a five piece cookware set. I opened a box up that was already opened in the store just to make sure this is like exactly what I wanted. So I got like a little casserole one, small pot, bigger pot, <laughs> small pan, big pan. I was going to buy the pots like individually in the pans individually, but it just like added up to be like way too much in one time and I wanted to get the right cooking gear because I spend a lot of time in the kitchen and I love cooking and so I wanted it to be, you know, what I wanted. This is everything that I like need right now, but this is gonna get us through the basics, you know? And it was only like 59 bucks for all of those and they felt really nice, like non-stick, but they're not like toxic, you know what I'm saying? Moving on, more cooking where I got this big green moment once again for big soups, like the soup that I'm making today. I just love making a big pot of soup. My dad always did it when I was living back home and he is seriously like the king of soup. So I'm looking after that, you know, taking after my dad and continuing the big pot of soup. Jack doesn't really care for soup. I don't think he does, but every time I make it, he's like, mm, yeah, <laughs> but not super stoked on it. So this is going to be mostly for me, but that's great because then I can take it to work and it's all good. Got a salad spinner to wash my greens. I hate washing my greens and anything. It's just out of pure laziness. It's not like I don't think it's the right thing to do. I think it is the right thing to do, especially if we are eating veggies that have been sprayed or whatever. I should be watching my veggies, but obviously I'm lazy and anything to lessen the pain of washing my veggies, I'm gonna do it. So got a salad spinner. I used to have one back home and they're great, super efficient and amazing. So got one for myself and it was only like $6, so yay. And then I got us a knife set. I'll probably invest in better knives like once we move in, but just to start us off, Maybe these are great. I don't know. They're cute. They match our wooden utensils, so that's cool. I don't know. You need a knife set. I got these two containers. This I'm going to... Oh, that was so satisfying. Take the lid off and then just put these bad boys in it. It'll just be nice and clean on the counter. Put my Laird Hamilton creamer in this one that my parents sent me. Hopefully I can order that here as well. I'm not so sure, but... They sent it to me in a care package, so thank you, parents. I love it so much. It makes my coffee so much better in the morning. Last thing, I'm very excited about this. We needed a kettle. I was going to get a like white kettle, cream kettle, you know, something like simple. All of their white kettles, except for like the cheapy ones, were sold out. And so I'm like, mm, what to do, what to do? I would be bold and get this little green one. Like this green. Yes, yeah, literally this green which isn't really showing up. It's like a sage green. So I got this kettle and then I got the matching toaster. Yay! So excited. So that is my $500 worth of Kmart. Honestly, I think I got a lot for my money and I'm very excited. Oh, oh my God, that's not it. I also got a new rug. I think this will look really cute in our living room. So in our living room, the whole like house, I really want it to be kind of like boho bamboo kind of bali-esque vibes the pompous grass and all that stuff yeah that's the vibe i'm going for and i thought that this rug was really cute neutral it looks more gray it's like definitely 
not gray and it's like a cream oat kind of like tan color it was only fifty dollars too so that's fucking awesome there we go that's my nearly five hundred dollars worth of kmart stuff i think i did a pretty good job <laughs> I think I got my bases covered with the kitchen. I definitely still need to buy rubbish bin and recycle bin, but I didn't have space in my car to put that in. I mean, I probably could have squeezed it, but in my cart itself, like to the car, didn't have any space. The day I have to do a bunch more stuff for like getting my shit together. You know when you're feeling overwhelmed with like stuff that you have to do and you just like keep putting it off either because you're busy, you work, whatever, you wanna connect with your partner, just like need today to just be for me and I'm really grateful that I'm able to do that and I have done that. Thanks so much for listening. I honestly think I'm just gonna end the vlog here. I feel like I'm going like way over what I anticipated anyways. <laughs> I'll film the lemon haul tomorrow, probably edit this tomorrow as well. Wow, thanks so much for coming along that ride. Thanks for seeing everything that I got at Kmart. <laughs> so excited to move into the new space and I'm so grateful that we got it. I'm just so excited. Moving is expensive, but I'm really excited. It's going to be so worth it and gosh, our space is going to be so freaking cute. I can't wait. I'm going to love you and leave you there. Thanks so much for being here. I love you so much. Thank you for the constant support. Please continue to show up and be along this growing journey. <laughs> can't believe that we're nearly at 630 people in this community and family and it's just really awesome. Gosh, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for being here. Again, I will see you next time. I love you. Bye.